Today on the channel, we're going to take a look at this treasure from China that just showed up. Everybody, welcome back to the channel. As the saying goes, one man's trash is another man's treasure. So I'm not really sure where this is gonna fall, but this is something I ordered from China. I'm not really an advocate of the Chinese knockoff guitars, but I saw this online. The price was amazing. I'll get into that later. Let's open this thing up. I want it to be a surprise for the reveal. So let's take a look. The thing I hate about these, these Chinese guitars when they come wrapped, first of all, they're wrapped up like a mummy. And they're always in this styrofoam, man. This stuff causes such a problem. So, got to get that complaint out of the way. I'm going to whittle away at this just a little bit so that we can, uh, I can get this thing open just a tad and then unbox a little bit more on film for everybody. All right, so check it out. I found out that you can cut along this seam on the top edge right here. And you can kind of open this thing up like a, styrofoam casket and not get styrofoam everywhere. There are a little few pieces here and there, but this is much better. Okay, so what I got was a Chibson. And what this is, or what it's supposed to be, is a replica of the, the Greeny, the Gibson Greeny. Not the Kirk Hammett Greeny, mind you. This is supposed to be the relic Greeny, like the $20,000 one, the $50,000 one with the Kirk Hammett package. So we'll see if it is, in fact, the relic Greeny. And if it is, how good they did. Here's the cord. They put the switch tip in here. That's nice. Got the switch tip. All right, cool. Got the cheesecloth wrapping it up. It is, in fact, a Les Paul. I can see it through the, through the cheesecloth. What's cool is I've got my friends at TN Tones. TN Tones make pickups. I've got them wrapping me some custom A2 humbuckers that are going to be just like the greeny humbuckers the the neck pickups going to be out of phase and i'm going to put those in once i once i get this thing demoed and in probably a couple weeks i'll get those pickups sent out to me so we'll check it out uh, with the stock pickups and then with the tn tones all right so it is in fact relict there's <laughs> the wear mark <laughs> awesome man this thing looks pretty cool so far oh boy okay all right look at this look at that They gotta flip this pickup around. Well, I'll get that done. It's supposed to be flipped around to be the greeny. They missed that detail, but that's okay. That's okay. We'll just flip that pickup around. All right, so there's no fret nibs, obviously, like a Gibson. Here's the Gibson logo. They got this headstock. Looks like it was, I guess it was razor bladed. You can't feel that logo. Maybe just a little bit. Maybe a decal. The fretboard feels okay. There's no sharp edges. The edges of these frets feel feel quite nice. Yeah, no sharp edges. I'm impressed, man. These things scary. These things are getting better. Let's look at this bridge. All right, it's similar to an ABR. These are quite thick, not really thin. Okay, the posts. All this looks real patina and worn. I can feel the lines in it. I don't know if this thing was razor bladed or or what they did to it, but it man, it looks cool.
Knob spin okay. Take a look at that. <laughs> kind of hard to relic a laminate top, I'm sure. <laughs> Man, I'm impressed. Look at this poker chip. I mean, damn. flip this thing over. Let's take a look at the back side of this beast. This was $339 with free shipping. So after tax it was like 368 bucks. I mean, dude, that is crazy. I'll probably replace these tuners. I don't know, these tuners look okay. I'd have to look at the greeny tuners, but I think they're Grovers. There's the relic on the back. I mean, it's it's really not bad. I mean, relicking is a it's a fine art. The sides of it are not very relic, okay, at all. So I may wind up I may wind up doing some additional relicking on the sides. I'm feeling the the paint. It's not super glossy. It's not quite satin. It's kind of in between satin and gloss. This is a lot more glossy feeling here. The sides are sanded nice and smooth. They feel nice. You know, these edges aren't aren't rough. But you can, you know, definitely feel it's been worn out. This paint just looks old. I mean, it's very convincing. I haven't seen the greeny up close. I don't know if anybody really has besides those who are fortunate enough to buy one. But um, I love the paint on this. I love this. I love the color. This lemony color. Look at this here. Let's take a closer look. Nice styrofoam noise there. Sorry, everybody. ASMR review here. Almost broke the headstock. That, but that'd be the final relic. That's what I needed to do. Break the headstock. <laughs> Man, this thing looks cool. I am really happy with the appearance of this guitar. Man, I love how it looks. Even if it's just wall art. Wow. I mean, it, it looks great. I wonder how these stock pickups sound. I gotta take this thing apart and we'll take a look at the inside of it. Let me look at the, look at the action on this. Look how this bridge is set up. Now these strings look like crap. Okay. It needs some strings. All right, I'm going to put the switch tip on this thing and I'm going to open up this back cavity and we'll take a look at the we'll look at the internal routings. Uh, when I change the strings, we'll take a look at the inside of it as well. All right, so uh, we got the covers off the back and uh, let's take a look. These are really, really small pots as expected. 
I'm going to replace these with some larger pots. Not tonight. Over the next few days, I'm going to replace these pots uh, with some 500K CTS pots. The wiring looks clean. The routing looks, uh, hey, you know, the routing looks pretty good, man. I mean, there's, I mean, there's some digs and stuff in the routing. It's obviously not like a Gibson quality route, but, um, you know, looks okay. And then we don't, it's not a switchcraft, obviously. It's a little bit smaller toggle switch, but it's not one of those cheap little metal boxes either that sometimes you get on these chipsons or, you know, knockoff guitars. And uh, the holes for the the cover actually works. A lot of times you get these guitars and the, the holes are drilled so close to the edge that you can't get the plate back on. So in further review of this guitar, I've really got to do some relicking on this neck just so it'll match this. If a guitar had this much relic on it from years and playability, this neck would be absolute toast. So gonna take some some sandpaper and over the next week and work on that a little bit part two of this video which will come up you know maybe in a week or two when I get my my pickups uh, I'll have it all completed but for now we're gonna demo it as is I'm gonna I'm gonna put some strings on it these are hands down the worst sounding guitar strings that I've ever I've ever heard like like acoustically it sounds kind of like a like a string bass, like a fretless string bass. They're just dead, and you know it could be the the wood, it could be the neck, uh, the way it's set in there, the bridge. But I mean, these strings sound really dead. I, I just that kind of worries me a little bit about this guitar, but it feels really nice. It, it I haven't I've yet to plug it into an amp, so. I'm interested how this is going to sound. I'm going to string it up, clean the neck, and then we'll do a, a sound demo. When I get these strings off, I'll take these pickups off and we'll take a look at the inside of the uh, cavity and I'll flip this around just so it looks authentically light greeny. So let's take the strings off and look at the pickups. All right, I've got the pickups out of the guitar and I put some actual Gibson knobs on it that look uh, authentic, <laughs> no pun intended. Uh, those other knobs were just really cheesy. Those Chinese knobs are terrible. All right, so when we take a look in the inside, this neck is completely wrong. You know, this doesn't have the, the long neck tenon. This, this should you know, come back in here like this, to my knowledge. I'm not really sure what this is. You can kind of see the cut out here. You know, this is all empty. The uh, interesting, the the body, this is about, I don't know, maybe, maybe uh, an inch or so into the, the body. You can see the, this is a, you know, whatever they make this out of. I, this, maybe this is two pieces of mahogany uh, together, glued together. This is clearly a laminate. You know, there's nothing here to outline the. You know, this is not a real maple top, obviously. These pickups, uh, one says 50, one says 53. It'd be kind of cool if it said 5150. So these are the stock Chinese pickups, right? So, uh, you know, obviously this ABR is wrong. I really like how they relic this guitar, though. I mean, I, I like it. It's probably a razor blade, but man... I think it looks cool. I put some lemon oil on the neck, so the neck looks a lot better. And uh, I'm going to restring this. Got me a pack of Diodario EXPs. Sorry for the camera work. Got me a set of Diodarios here. My buddy uh, Eddie Ojeda from Twisted Sister. Yeah, I'm a name dropper, I guess. Eddie gave me a bunch of strings. And I'm going to put those on there. He's going to check this out as well, so... Let me uh, string this thing up, and then we'll, we'll check it out. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna spin this pickup around so it looks at least it looks like a greenie. Cool.